Hello, welcome to the CED Mosbot online video series. Today we're going to cover how to use a MicroRite 20 as a Modbus TCP master. All right, so here we have our, uh, our project, our blank project. Um, I've just created our controller. Uh, to micro 820. Uh, here's the model number down here. Um, so uh, that's the that's the unit I have here. So that's what we're going to use. So in order to do this, uh, the first thing we need to do uh, to set up our Modbus over TCP is we need to co come to the Ethernet port setup. Um, and what we want to do, we're going to go ahead and put our static IP address of the controller I have here um, in here. So we'll do that first. I'm going to leave the gateway blank. Uh, you can put one in here if, you, if you're using a gateway. Uh, I'm going to turn this duplicate IP off. And then down here under the Modbus TCP server, uh, the server state, we want to just click enabled on that. Um, now previously in another video where I showed you how to use the Micrologix 1400 as the Modbus master, we came into this Modbus mapping and that's where we put uh, some tag values in here uh, so if, if your Micro 800 is being used as a Modbus slave, the next thing you would do is come in here and map your tags to the Modbus registers for the master to pull. But in this case, we're going to make the, mod, the 820 the master. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So to write our message instruction, obviously the first thing we need to do is we need a program to put it in. So over here on the left side, we're going to right click on programs, we're going to add. Uh, you can do this in structured text, ladder, or function block. I'm going to do it in ladder on this video. Uh, the other two are doable uh, and are covered in uh, the manual programming manual, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use the ladder. So we'll create that. We're going to open up our program. Over here on the right side, we're going to click and drag this instruction block over. And then it brings up all the instruction blocks, timers, uh, math functions, things like that, that we can use this instruction block for. At the top, we're going to filter this down to just the messages. You can see we have four messages we can use. The top two are SIP messages, so those are for SIP uh, communications. Uh, these bottom two are our Modbus. So one is Modbus RTU. Again, that, uh, we're going to use TCP for this video, but the RTU is fairly straightforward once you know how to do this TCP and also is covered in the programming manual. So we're just gonna double click on our TCP and it's called MSG Modbus 2. So that's what our, our block type is. Um, and if you hover over it, it tells you what, what the tags are that you need. The three that we absolutely need to create in here are these local config, target config, and local address. Those are what um, configure the message instruction, give it the information it needs, and tells it where to put the information it's going to gather. So, let's go back over to our local variables over here on the left, and we're going to go ahead and create these. So the first one will be, we'll just go ahead and create our local address. The local address, um, that's the uh, array of of words that where we would either map the data that we're going to write out using the instruction or we're gonna, where we're going to put the data we're reading in. Uh, the next one we're going to do is our target config. So this is the so it's a Modbus 2 target parameters. And this, this one is, uh, this gives the message instruction all the information it needs to know about the target location. So um, first of all, we need the Modbus ad ad data address. So what we're going we're gonna to start reading at the first holding register at our target, which is a micro 1400. We're going to read our f the first holding register. So we're going to put a 1 in there. Uh, the address, that's our IP address in octets here. So we'll go ahead and put that in. 130. Uh, port number uh, defaults to 502, so we just leave it there. That's what the port number in the Micrologics is. Um, the, the unit identifier, this is used for bridging. Uh, so unless you're doing some Modbus bridging, just leave that at 255. Um, and then the uh, message timeout and the uh, connection timeout, we'll just put at those values. The connection closing behavior, we're going to put that at false. That's 
Uh, if you look in the, in the programming manual, it describes this whole word and gives you a description of each one. And this connection closing behavior um, is used it, it, after the message instruction um, uh, executes, do you want to close the connection? And I guess you could save on the Ethernet network if you wanted to do that and you were only doing this once a day or once every hour, once every five minutes, something like that. But if you're going to sit there and read constantly, uh, you want to just put that at false um, and let it do that. So that one's set up. The next one we need is our local config mod, and that's a modbus to local. Oh no, that's modbus to local parameter, right? And then if we expand that, this is our local information. Uh, what port number are we going to use? So uh, again, in the manual, you can find this on the knowledge base or in the uh, micro 800 programming manual, uh, which is very easy to find. Um, but it, it'll tell you uh, that the uh, channel number for the Ethernet port is 4. Uh, the trigger, so this is if you want to trigger it once, uh, if you're triggering it off a bit, um, in the programming, you would leave this at zero. If you wanted to just cyclic, um, so there was a programming example we did on our YouTube page here where we did a micro 1400 and we put a timer uh, a bit in front of it to allow the uh, message instruction to execute every once a second. With this, you don't have to do that. You could just put a hundred in here and now it'll just execute itself once every second. This is in milliseconds. Uh, the Modbus command, three, is what we're going to put in because that's our uh, read multiple holding registers. And we're going to go ahead and read two of them just for this example. So we're going to read two uh, holding registers and the information will get put into this local address. So our next step is to come back over to our program and type those tags into these fields. There we go. And we'll save. And now we're going to download this to our uh, Micro 820. And then we're going to see what happens. So we've come back over to our uh, Micro 800 820 screen here. And we just clicked on our download up here. Um, if you don't have a path in here, it will ask you for the path. Ours was already set up. Uh, as you can see, we're still downloading. Uh, I'm working over a little cell modem here in my office, um, so this mine does take a few extra minutes. So we're going to go ahead and run the project. And while that's doing that, I wanted to show you on the other end, this is the MicroLogix 1400 program that I have running on the same little network. If you come under channel configuration, uh, and then channel one Modbus, or under channel one, first of all, I have the Modbus TCP enable checked, and that gives me access to this channel one Modbus. And um, I'm allowing access to our Micro 820, and I'm also mapping our integers um, N22 to our holding registers. So N220 is 4001. Uh, so that's the, and so that's how easy it is to make a MicroLogix a Modbus slave. So that just so you know, that's what we're doing. That's where our data is going to be coming from. So here we are. We are running. Our program's running. We don't have an error. Looks like everything is working. So let's open up our uh, local variables and take open our local addressing. You can see we have some data in here in our first two. Remember under our target config, um, under our, I guess actually it's under the local config, the number of elements we're reading, we're reading two, okay? Uh, so under our local address, we have two integer values coming in. So let's go ahead and go half screen on this and open up our holding registers here. You can see 25 and 55 equal our 25 and 55 here. If we were to change this to 75, we should see our local address 2 over here change to 75. So let's hit enter. And there it is. So we are reading data. We change this one. See it over there. Yep. So was, that's how you're reading data over the Modbus from a Micrologix 1400 to uh, a Micro 8. 
820, and the mic 820 is acting as the master. Um, again, you and if you wanted to do a write um, message, you would do the exact same thing, create three different tags, so underscore local address underscore two underscore two, um, and under the local, instead of a three, you would have a four for write uh, registers, write holding registers, so that, just that same exact way. Um, all right. Once again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out future and current videos by subscribing to CED Mosbaugh Electric Supply on YouTube or visiting www.mosbaugh.com media. Thanks again.